ECCHR is on the front lines looking at building new legal instruments um, to hold the powerful to account. When you see there's lots of organizations involved in human rights advocacy and the kind of work that they do, ECCHR has, its, has a place of its own and it's very unique to be, in, to be practicing strategic litigation. It's not enough to have an idea, you need to have the right people to work for this idea, to fight and struggle for this idea and this really is the case by ECCHR. It is simply something which, you, which I could experience in the everyday cooperation. Probably one case, legal case, of ECCHR might not be very important, but in 10 years' time might be proven that it was the best movement at the right time. Hi, I'm Ed Snowden, and I'm glad to be here as well because ECHR is one of the only institutions in Europe that I'm aware of that is having this kind of impact. They're reshaping what we think of when we think of the idea of law and accountability, right? And one of the things that Wolfgang and ECCHR you know, understand is that rights don't exist to be preserved. Uh, they exist to be exercised. They exist to be enforced. Uh, we don't need to keep it polished and looking pretty in a closet. Um, we need it to have meaning in the real world. We need the law. The law is a necessary thing. It is, it is sort of the, the fundamental basis, the foundation of the guarantees that we have uh, of what our rights are. Standing up to big governments, to powerful multinational corporations, to dictators, is at the heart of ECCHR's international work. El centro eh, se ha convertido en, en una organización muy importante eh, para la defensa de los derechos humanos eh, no solo en Europa sino también en América Latina eh, y yo diría en todos los continentes. Pero déjà le fait que le, le, le centre prenne euh, l'affaire en main, euh, le centre s'organisera pour que euh, d'autres organisations puissent euh, s'impliquer. Esta organización ha estado en los principales casos de jurisdicción universal en los casos en los que se ha torturado a personas, en los que se ha hecho objetivo desde la ilegalidad de una guerra de Irak, por ejemplo, o de Guantánamo, a la defensa de las víctimas en Colombia y en el mundo entero. ICCHA es usualmente uh, un pionero uh, en, por ejemplo, tackling casos como like Rumsfeld y Bush in relation to the torture practices in the United States. And ACCHR did a very unique work in a way that they file a case against a cake over here. And we have a very informative and a very, uh, l we get a lot of uh, new things out of it, how to combat with the uh, big brands. I work with the ECCHR because I believe in justice and uh, I believe what uh, they are doing on. It's like the Tyrian case, accountability, which is very important part of the transitional justice in Syria. La façon de travailler avec les, 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 les immigrants clandestins qui sont à Gourougou, je pense que ICCR a bien élaboré son plan de travail parce que déjà, ils n'ont jamais essayé de forcer quelqu'un. The ability of people who work with each other both at ECCHR and at HRN, uh, to transcend their own world, to transcend their own limitations, really, you know, lifestyles, and to sit snugly with a world which is very different. Uh, it's challenging. ECCHR is a tool that bores very narrow and very deep holes in um, the, the board that is human rights problems. And one thing ECCHR is good at doing is addressing cases that have concretely arisen. And its limitation is always going to be that um, it only has systematic impact as far as these cases uh, create some kind of precedent. The challenge will be for the next 10 years to, um, to prevent uh, of um, creating a bubble of the uh, elite of strategic litigation. Buena apuesta para el ECCHR es el de, el de poder trabajar mucho más sobre estos poderes transnacionales 
que incluso impiden que las Naciones Unidas evolucionen en tener una corte penal eh, y ambiental internacional que pueda sancionar empresarios. La lucha por los derechos humanos son luchas mundiales, son luchas que nos unen, son el camino que tenemos que construir para, para lograr ese sueño de que otro mundo es posible. You have an idea which is, which is just bursting out slowly. So it will be a new path for you when you, you've done so much strategic litigation in Europe and now when you branch out into the developing world as well and take this work forward. I have a feeling it's the part of a second burst of energy. Maybe the first burst was 10 years. Now you're going to have a second burst of very creative work.